touring and continuing my stuff doing yoga. Um, besides videoing my childhood basketball, I can't think I have any qualifications to video, um, but hopefully this will work for you. So this practice is meant for all levels. It will be about an hour. Um, and thanks for joining. So let's go ahead and get started in the child's pose. You'll go ahead and extend your arms out in front of you, shoulders away from the ears, and come to that nice relaxed breath, breathing in and out through the nose. And as you settle in, find your intention for your practice. It can be physical or spiritual or emotional. Today it's sort of a tricky day for me as my husband heads off to the hospital for the first day of working in the hospital. So I'm going to dedicate my practice to him and to all the people he works for and works with. So close your eyes and breathe in and out through the nose. Relax your shoulders away from the ears. Once you find that focus on your breath, with an inhale, come to all fours. Hands underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips. Inhale, pull the ground towards you, lift the chest. Exhale, round the spine, pull the belly in and up. Again, inhale, pull the ground towards you, lift the chest. Exhale, round the spine, pull the belly in and up. And then we'll add on, inhale, lift the chest, let the right leg come behind you, right foot flex, right toes point down. Exhale, back to all four and around. Inhale, other side, left leg behind you, left foot nice and flexed. Exhale, back to all fours, round. Same thing, add on, inhale, right leg and left arm, lengthen and extend. Exhale, all fours and round. Other side, inhale, left leg, right arm, lengthen, extending. Exhale, all fours round. Adding on again, inhale, left arm, right leg, lengthen. Exhale, elbow to the knee, round. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, all fours round. Other side, left leg, right arm, extend. Exhale, elbow to the knee. Inhale, extend. Exhale, all fours round. From here, you'll inhale, lift the chest, and walk the hands forward. This is called puppy pose. So pull the low ribs in to support the back and bring the shoulders away from the ears. Any kind of time we come to down dog, you can also come into puppy pose. You get the same upper body lengthening, the same spinal lengthening. It was just a little easier on the hamstrings and the legs. So feel free to stay right here or walking those hands a little closer to you, curl the toes under, let the hips come high, downward facing dog. Well, once you get here, shake your head yes and no. Let the heels get heavy, the toes get light. Try to line up the outer edges of your feet with the outer edges of your hips. Shoulders away from the ears. We'll walk our hands back towards our feet. Grab opposite elbow or interlace the fingers behind the back and stretch the arms overhead, shaking the head yes and no. Gently press the weight into your heels. Keep your toes light and bring your hands to the tops of the thighs. Try that same cat-cow motion. So inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, round the spine. Again, inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, round the spine. Last time, lift the chest. Exhale, round the spine. And slowly make your way to stand. So you want to roll those shoulders up to the ears, back and down. So you're rocking the chest. Arms by your sides, palms face out. Inhale, reach the arms up, let your right hand hold your left wrist. Exhale, bend over to your right as you shift your hips to your left. Inhale, come through the center, switch sides. 
Left hand, right wrist, exhale, bend over to your left. Inhale, come through the center, reach the arms up, exhale, bend the elbows, broaden the chest, low ribs in. You can maybe bend the knees, but you don't want anything in your low back, so maybe squeeze the glutes. Inhale, reach the arms up, maybe palms touch, exhale, folding forward, hands to shins or to the floor. Inhale, take your time, look up, lengthen. With the exhale, walk those hands out, plank pose. Try to turn your hands out slightly. You can always bring your knees down here. Knees forward, low ribs in. And as slowly as you can, lower to the belly. See if you can get your low ribs to touch first. Then you'll extend the arms out in front of you so you can pull the ground towards you and lift the chest. So everything is in your upper back for back friends. Nothing in the low back. If it's in the low back, lower down a little bit or squeeze the glutes. So keeping the chest lifted, walk the hands then under the shoulders. So this is your cobra pose. You can use this anytime we do an up dog as well. You can lift a little higher. It's usually cobra pose when the legs are on the ground. Upward dog or upward facing dog when your legs are off the ground. And then slowly lower, hands stay under the shoulders, curl the toes under, use the knees or not as you come through your plank pose. Exhale back to downward facing dog. Lining the outer edges of the feet with the outer edges of the hips. Inhale, shrug your shoulders to your ears so you can exhale, bring them down away from the ears. Inhale to your tiptoes. Exhale, empty the breath, bend the knees a lot, or use the inhale to come forward, step your feet top of the mat. Lengthening, exhale, fold forward. Inhale, come all the way up to stand. We're going to interlace our fingers, press your palms to the sky, gently bending over to your right. Inhale, come through the center. Exhale, bend over to your left. Inhale, come through the center. Exhale, bend the elbows again, broaden the chest, low ribs in. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, folding forward. So take your time during this fold forward. Shake the head, yeah, shake the head, no. And then come up halfway, hands to the shins or to the floor, lengthen. Exhale, step your left foot back, left hand grounds under the shoulder. Inhale, reach the right arm up towards the sky. Exhale, let your right hand come down and let your back knee come down. Inhale, low lunge, both arms reach, and the same thing, fingers interlace, palms press up. Exhale, gently bend over to your right. Inhale, come through the center, reach the arms up. Exhale, bend the elbows, broad at the chest. Inhale, arms reach. Exhale, let the hands come down, curl the back toes under, and straighten out the front and back leg a little or a lot, getting some length in the back of that right leg. Let that left heel press back. Stay right here, lengthening the legs. Our hands come down, step back, plank pose, gaze forward. Hug the elbows in as you lower halfway or all the way down. Finding your back bend, pointing your feet, broadening the chest, everything in the upper back. Exhale, hips come high, downward facing dog. Gently step your left foot forward and ground your right hand this time. Inhale, reach your left arm up to the sky, trying to keep your back nice and flat. Maybe gaze towards the left hand. Exhale, left hand down, right knee down, low lunge or what I like to call, how do my hips get so tight? Interlace the fingers, palms press up, inhale. Exhale, gently bend over to your left. I guess that's what I get after doing a lot of puzzles and sitting. Inhale, arms reach. Exhale, bend the elbows, draw out of the chest. Inhale, reach your arms up, shoulders down. Exhale, let those hands come down on either side of your left foot. Curl your back toes under and straighten out the legs a little or a lot. Bringing those shoulders away from the ears, smooth breath. So again, you have the option to stay right here, lengthening, or step back, plank pose. Elbows hug to the body as you lower halfway or all the way. Inhale, find your back bend, want to point the feet and broaden your chest. 
so that he could hang out here if he needed to for a couple breaths. No compression in the low back. Maybe squeeze the glutes. Exhale, hips high, downward facing dog. From here, we'll inhale to your tiptoes. Exhale, bend the knees a lot. Gaze to the top of the mat and step your feet top of the mat. So with an inhale, you're going to look up and lengthen. Think low ribs in so you support the low back. Exhale, fold forward. Reach the top of the head down to the ground. Then use the inhale to rise. Arms come out and up. Maybe palms touch. Exhale, hands to the heart. Samastiti. So let's move through Surya Namaskar A. Ekam, inhale, reach the arms. Dibe, exhale, fold forward. Trini, inhale, lengthen. Chantwari, exhale, step back. Weight is in the heels of the hands as you lower halfway or all the way. Pansha, heart lifts, point the feet broad in the chest. Shut hips high, downward facing dog for one. Shoulders towards the waist, two, three, think about the neck getting nice and long, four, and five. Inhale, tiptoes, exhale, bend the knees, gaze between the hands, and slowly step your feet, top of the mat. Look up, lengthen, inhale, exhale, fold forward. Inhale, rise, arms out and up, palms touch. Exhale, same thing, fold forward, hands to shins or to the floor. Trim knee, look up, lengthen, chatvari, step back, lower down, the weight is in the heels of the hands. See if you can gaze forward as you lower. Find your back bend, point your feet broad your chest. Exhale, hips high, downward facing dog. Shoulders towards the waist and listen to the breath. The magic happens in yoga when you listen to your breath. No surface and leg pose is necessary. Inhale, tiptoes. Exhale, empty the breath, bend the knees. Use your inhale to step forward. At the end of the inhale, we lengthen the spine. Exhale, fold forward. Last time like this. Inhale, rise, palms touch. Exhale, folding forward. Inhale, look up, lengthen. Exhale, step back and lower down. Gaze is forward. You have that mini back bend in the upper back. Point the feet broad in the chest. Maybe gaze up. Exhale, hips come high. Downward facing dog. From here, we're going to inhale. Lift our right leg up. Bend your right knee. Set your right hip on top of the left. See if you can press into your right palm. Stay here for a little more core engagement. Inhale, right leg lifts. Exhale, hug your right knee into your chest and press your hands like crazy so you ground your upper back. Inhale, come to a three-legged plank. See if you can gaze forward. Exhale, right foot lunging, left hand round. Same sequence, you'll inhale, right arm reaches. Exhale, right hand lowers back knee, lowers inhale, low lunge. Fingers interlace, exhale, bend over to your right. Inhale, come through the center. Exhale, bend the elbows, broaden the chest. Inhale, arms reach. Exhale, hands come down, we curl the back toes under and straighten out that front leg. Stay right here, add on, ground into your right foot and inhale, left leg will lift. Nothing too crazy. Both legs can stay as bent as you need or around. Left knee behind the right calf. Put all the weight in the right heel. Can activate the back of that right leg. Inhale, let that left leg lift. Exhale, we'll step back high lunge. Left foot to the left, right foot to the right. Take your time as you reach the arms up. Think about the thumbs pressing to the back of the room. Shoulders down. Nice deep inhale, exhale, we'll let it go. Hands come down, step back and lower down. You can always step right into down dog instead. Find your back bend, lift the chest. Exhale, hips high, downward facing dog. Same thing, other side. Inhale, left leg lifts, then the left knee, second left hip on top of the right. Maybe noticing a difference in the two sides of the body. Stay here, adding in that core, left leg lifts, inhale, exhale, hug your left knee into the chest and round the spine, pressing into the hands. Inhale, three-legged plank, gaze forward, exhale, left foot lunging, right hand grounded. Back stays flat, 
inhale, left arm reaches. Exhale, left hand lowers, back knee lowers. Inhale, low lunge, fingers and interlace, palms up. Exhale, gently bend over to your left. Inhale, arms reach. Exhale, bend the elbows, broaden the chest. Inhale, arms reach back up. Exhale, let those hands come down and curl those back toes under. Inhale, you need to straighten out one or both legs. Exhale, fold over that left leg. Then add a hug, ground into your left foot. Inhale, right leg lifts. Neither leg has to be straight as you bend around. Left knee behind the right calf, all the weight in that left heel. Inhale, let that right leg lift back up. Take your time. Exhale, as your right foot steps back, bring it over to the right. So take right foot to the right, left foot to the left. Take your time as you come to a high lunge. So instead of sinking into the hips and leaning forward, think about lifting out of the hips and reaching back. Exhale, we'll let it go. Hands can come down, you can step right into down dog or move through that vinyasa. Take your time and lower. Inhale, upward face. Exhale, downward face. So know that you can come to that puppy pose anytime you want, or back to child's pose. Again, the key to the practice is to stay with the breath. Secondarily, the asana, the pose is to unblock any sort of stuck areas, either physically or emotionally. Inhale to your tiptoes, exhale, bend the knees, we'll gaze between the hands and use the inhale to come forward. Step your feet top of the mat. So inhale here and lengthen the spine. Let the peace fingers grab the big toes. Feet hips with plenty of bend in the knees lengthen. Exhale, folding forward. So think about the top of the head reaching down, shoulders away from the ears. Holding here for one, two, trying to slow down that breath, three, Four, and five, inhale, look up, lengthen. Exhale, folding forward. Feet come together, heels heavy, toes lightly, katasana. As your arms reach up, maybe noticing, I took the time to redo my hair as I had you in a forward fold. Shoulders away from the ears, smooth breath. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, sweep those arms back. As you come halfway, weight in the heels, toes lightly, and inhale, Reach the arms up. Exhale, sweep the arms behind you. One more time, inhale, arms reach up. Think the low ribs in. Exhale, sweep the arms behind you. Inhale, left arm forward, right arm back. So taking the twist, but keeping the toes and knees even. Try to rock the weight into the heels, toes light. We'll let the left arm come back and inhale, sweep your right arm forward. A smooth breath, toes and knees stay even. Then go ahead and bring your right arm back. Inhale, come all the way up to stand. Maybe take a little back bend. Maybe bend the elbows. 90 degrees, lift the chest. Inhale, arms reach. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, look up, lengthen. Exhale, step back, lower down. Inhale, finding your back bend, pointing your feet so broad in the chest. Exhale, hips come high. Downward facing dog. So remind yourself you can take a rest at any time. Or inhale, let that right leg lift. Exhale, hug the right knee into the chest, round. Same as before, inhale, three-legged plank, but add on. Right knee, right arm round. Inhale, let the right leg come behind you, heart lifts. Exhale, high lunge. Meeting up where we left up, right foot to the right, left foot to the left. Inhale, reach those arms up. Add on, exhale, sweep those arms behind you. Inhale, left arm forward, right arm back. Exhale, left arm comes back. Again, inhale, high lunge, both arms reach. Try to reach back if you can. Exhale, sweep those arms. Inhale, right arm, left arm comes forward, sorry. Exhale, left hand comes back. Inhale, reach the arms all the way up. Exhale, let the hands come down and straighten out that front leg again. 
Maybe come to the fingertips as you shift the weight back. And if you want to bring your back knee down, you can always bring your back knee down and flex the right foot. Stay here, breathing into the length, or ground into your right foot and inhale, let that left leg lift. Exhale, bend just as before, left knee behind the right calf to hover. Inhale, we'll lift that left leg up. Exhale, step your left foot to the back of the mat, but this time left foot flat. So think about that left foot over to the left side of the mat. Foot at about a 45 degree angle, not that you have your protractor, but you get the idea. Shoulders down, reach back, exhale, bend the elbows. Find this mini back bend here, warrior one. Inhale, arms reach. Exhale, let it go. Hands come down, step back and lower down. Think about pulling your low ribs in, gaze forward. Find your back bend point, your feet broaden. Exhale, hips high, downward facing dog. Same thing, other side. Inhale, left leg lifts. Exhale, left knee into the chest round. Inhale, three-legged plank. Exhale, add on left knee, left arm round. Inhale, left leg behind you. Exhale, high lunge, left foot to the left, right foot to the right. Inhale, reach the arms up. If you feel wobbly, make sure you're using the width of the mat. Exhale, sweep those arms back. Inhale, right arm forward. This time I mean right arm. Exhale, right arm comes back. Inhale, high lunge. Same thing again. Sweep those arms behind you. Inhale, right arm comes forward. Exhale, right arm comes back. Inhale, high lunge. Reach the arms up and reach back if you can. Exhale, let the hands come down and straighten out that front leg again. Maybe you're on your fingertips. Maybe you decided to bring your back knee down and straighten out the left leg, flexing that left foot. Staying here as long as you need, or bend into the left leg and inhale, reach your right leg up. Exhale, bend right knee behind the left calf to hover. Inhale, we'll let the right leg lift up. Exhale, step back, warrior one. Right foot to the right, left foot to the left. That right foot now at about 45 degree angle. Inhale, reach the arms up. A little bit of an awkward pose. Shoulders down. Option bend, the elbows broad in the chest. Inhale, arms reach. Exhale, let it go. Now you can either step to the top of the mat here, because that's where we'll meet up, or another vinyasa, meaning you step back and lower down. Finding your back bend, point your feet broad in the chest. Exhale, hips come high, downward facing dog. Find the breath. Close your eyes and tune back in. I find when times are the hardest or when I need yoga the most is when I'm least likely to do it. So you gotta give yourself credit for showing up. Inhale to the tiptoes. Exhale, bend the knees, gaze between the hands, press back to come forward. Lengthen at the top of the mat, feet hips with this time. Slide your house as your hands under your pot as your feet. Pull up on the balls of the feet, inhale, exhale, fold forward. Think about the elbows coming out to the side. Do not feel like you need to straighten the legs, especially if you have a tricky low back. Keep the knees plenty bent. And empty out the breath. Anytime you find a pose that we come into that you feel like you need to stay in longer, give yourself that permission to stay in longer. Now inhale, gently release the hands, lengthen. Exhale, fold forward. Feet together, come on back to Utkatasana. So I don't know this, but this is everybody's least favorite pose. That's what I did learn from social media. I never knew that everybody hated Utkatasana. Well, just keep talking when I keep doing the pose. No. Exhale, sweep those arms behind you. Inhale, left arm comes forward, right arm back. Exhale, left arm comes back. Inhale, right arm comes forward. Exhale, right arm comes back. We're going to inhale, come all the way up to stand and get the feet nice and wide. 
Exhale, bend the elbows. Then inhale, bring the arms wide. Exhale, hands behind you, fingers interlace. So lift the chest, stretch the arms back, and then plenty of bend in the knees as you fold forward. Top of the head reaches down. Plenty of bend, still in the knees if you need, or begin to straighten the leg. Shaking the head, yes, yeah, shaking the head, no. Yes, I'm so glad I tuned into Zoe's video. No, I don't regret it. I have no idea what this will look like. Exhale, hands come down. Look up, lengthen. We'll meet up in down dog, so you can move through a vinyasa or skip it. And just meet us in down dog. Finding your back. But if your shoulders feel tight, try to turn the hands out a little bit. Maybe bend the elbows more to get into your upper back more. This is supposed to feel like a broadening of the chest, but not a crunching of the low back. It took me 13 years to learn that. Exhale, downward facing dog. So we'll inhale, lift the right leg up. Exhale, hug the right knee to the chest round. Inhale, three-legged plank. Again, right knee, right arm round. Inhale, three-legged plank. Right knee, left arm round. Inhale, three-legged plank. Exhale, warrior one. Right foot lunging, back foot flat. Inhale, arms reach. Same thing, exhale, sweep those arms behind you. Inhale, left arm comes forward. Exhale, left arm comes back. Inhale, arms reach up. And just like we did in standing, bend the elbows. Inhale, arms wide. Exhale, hands behind you, fingers interlace. So lift the chest, lift the arms. Exhale, fold to the inside of your right leg. Let the head and neck up. Add on here, let your hands come down inside of the right foot. Spin up onto your left toes. Take a back bend by pulling the ground towards your chest lifts. Stay here, move a little deeper by bringing your back knee down. Point the left foot. Maybe right hand to the middle of the right thigh, pressing it forward. I would get a little crack in my back. <laughs> right hand grabbing onto your left foot. Pulling that left heel in and opening up the right shoulder. Usually a lot going on here. If you need more, you can always bring your left forearm down. We'll go ahead, let the hands come down. Hands either side of the right foot. You're going to bump your left foot up about where your left knee is. Pyramid pose. So shorter stance, but feet are at least hips width. Look up, lengthen. Exhale, fold forward. You can interlace the fingers behind the neck, but traditionally it's a prayer position behind the back. You can also just stay with the fold. Stay right here, come up halfway, and bring your left hand inside, or traditionally outside the right foot. If that's too much, stay in this forward fold. Eventually, right arm reaches, making your way into twisted triangle. Think about your hip shifting back, top of the hip forward. Now you're going to stay here for more of a balance challenge. Left hand to the left, lift your left leg up, left toes point down, right arm reaching. Then maybe add on your right arm forward. So it's like a standing spinal balance. And just like the beginning of the class, elbow to knee, right elbow, left knee, round. Inhale, extend. Exhale, round, right elbow, left knee. One more time, extend. Exhale, round. Then inhale, extend. Stay here for more of a challenge. Left arm parallel to the right. Warrior three, you can feel free to put more of a bend in that right leg. Go ahead, let the hands come down to the ground. Step your left foot way back and walk over to the left corner of your mat. You can make some nice big hip circles. I always think hips hold on to a lot, especially when you're sitting physically. Staying in this pose, moving around, or step back, lower down. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale.
exhale, downward facing dog. Sneak the other side before you have too much time to think. Inhale, left leg lifts. Exhale, left knee to the chest round. Inhale, left leg behind you. Left knee, left arm round. Inhale, left leg behind you. Exhale, left knee, right arm round. Inhale, left leg behind you. Exhale, warrior one. Left foot to the left, right foot to the right. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, sweep the arms back. Inhale, right arm forward. Exhale, right arm back. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, bend the elbow. Inhale, arms come wide. Exhale, hands behind you, fingers interlaced. Lift the chest, lift the arms. So the right hip pulls gently forward. Exhale, fold inside out the belly. Top of the head reaches down. Then go ahead, let those hands come down. Inside of your left foot, spin up onto your right toes. Find a back bend here, so press the right heel back, lift the chest. Then decide maybe back knee down, pointing the right foot. Maybe left hand, top of the left thigh, pressing it forward. Or left hand grabbing onto the right foot. So it matters much less how far you go into a pose. But if you can stay with the breath and move it through the body, the breath is that prana, that life force. We'll go ahead and let your left foot go. I'm sorry, right foot go if you have it. Hands come down on the side of your left foot. You're going to bump your right foot up to about where your right knee is. Pyramid pose. Right foot to the right, left foot to the left. You want to keep your back nice and flat and your hip shifting back. And then whichever arm variation, you could let the hands come down, you could interlace the fingers, or traditionally reverse namaste, and fold over that left leg. Either way, finding those nice and deep breaths. Staying here, the right hand will come down inside or traditionally outside of the left, but the back stays flat. The left hand can stay right here, gently reach the left arm to the sky, making hip shift back, top of the head forward. You have the option to hang right here, or right hand over to the right. We'll lift the right leg up, twisted half moon, and we're going to bring that left arm forward. Standing spinal balance, or left elbow, right knee round. Inhale, extend, lengthen. Exhale, round. One more time, extend and lengthen. Exhale, round. Inhale, left arm forward, right leg back. Stay here, or right arm parallel, warrior three. You can keep more of a bend in that left leg if it wants a smart stare at something still on the floor. Let the hands come down here. Step your right foot all the way to the back of the mat. Left foot to the left. And take a walk now over to the right corner of the mat, making some nice big hip circles. Both directions. Staying here, hands come underneath the shoulders, step back, lower down. All these vinyasas are meant to build the heat, but I also think this back bend is the most important part. It's the counter pose to rest of life. Point your feet a lot, broaden the chest a lot. Pull the low ribs in, hip side downward facing dog. So inhale, shorten your shoulders to your ears. Exhale, bring them down away from the ears. Two more times, inhale, shoulders to the ears. Exhale down away from the ears. Last time, shoulders to the ears. Exhale down away from the ears. And empty out the breath. Inhale, come to your tiptoe. 
hands. Exhale, bend the knees a lot. Gaze between the hands and slowly step your feet towards the top of the mat. Inhale, find length. Exhale, holding forward. Inhale, come all the way up to stand. Palms touch. Exhale, hands to the heart. Now we're going to ground into your right foot. Hug your left knee in. Option, right hand, right hip. Peace fingers, grab your left big toe. That's two Cirque du Soleil. Hold on to the knee. If you're up for straightening the leg, straighten it. And if you're still up for more, bring your left leg out to the left. Maybe gaze to the right. Gently bring that left leg forward. And reach the arms all the way up. Try to keep the left leg as high as you can. Try not to lean back. Bringing that right arm forward, left arm back. Keep the arms just as they are. Hug the left knee in and step your left foot to the back of the mat. Now we're going to turn our toes in and our heels out. We're going to bend our elbows and bring our right arm under our left arm, eagle arms. Inhale, arms reach. Exhale, folding forward. So think about the weight coming into the balls of the feet. And those forearms reaching down. It should feel like a nice upper back stretch, a shoulder stretch. Keep those equal arms as you bend into your left leg. So that's the leg at the back of the mat. And then come on through the center. Straighten out that left leg and unwind the arms. Fingertips come underneath the shoulders, lengthen, pull the low ribs in. Exhale, hands to the hips, and inhale, come to stand. Turn your right toes out, warrior two. Think about your drishti coming out over your right middle finger. Exhale, reverse warrior. Left hand, left leg, right arm stretches, but the right leg stays bent. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, reverse. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, reverse. Keep all that length in the right side of the body. Come up slowly, right leg straightens. Exhale, turn, put those treatment on your right hand now, left arm reaching up. So if you want more here, bring your left arm over the ear. And bring your right arm parallel to the left. This always makes me think of Mac. A teacher of mine. Come on back. Warrior two. Exhale, side angle prep. Right forearm to the thigh, left arm stretching. Inhale, back. Warrior two. Exhale, side angle prep. Again, warrior two. This time, side angle with the hold so your forearm can stay on the thigh. Right hand inside or outside of that right foot, left arm stretch. Left pinky finger down so you can bring the shoulder away from the ear. Go ahead, let that left hand come down, spin onto the back toes. Feel free to step to the top of the mat because that's where we'll meet up. Or step back and lower down. Inhale, upward face. Exhale, downward face. And I always say, grateful that we only have two sides to do. Gaze to the top of the mat and slowly step your feet top of the mat. Inhale, lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come all the way up to stand. Palms touch. Exhale, hands to the heart. Bring our left hand, left hip. Right hand holds the right knee or the right big toe. No judgment either way. Maybe the leg straightens, maybe not today. Maybe right leg out to the right. Maybe you're gazing to the left. Inhale, right leg comes forward. Try to leave the right leg as high as you can, straightening it if it's not straightened, but try not to lean back. Try to keep the shoulders over the hips and maybe left arm forward, right arm back. We'll hug your right knee in and step your right foot all the way to the back of the mat. Toes turn in, heels turn out. We'll bring our arms bent, 90 degrees. This time, left arm under the right arm. 
throw us hold the shoulders too. Inhale, lift. Exhale, rock the weight into the balls of the feet as you fold forward. The forearms stretch down and to the breath. Option is time to bend into the right leg. So that's the leg at the back. Keeping that transverse lunge opening up that left inner leg. And then we'll go ahead and straighten out the back leg. Hands come down and we'll have our peace fingers where our big toes. Pull up on the big toes, finding length in the spine. Exhale, fold forward, reach the top of that head down. Legs do not have to be straight, but try to bring your shoulders towards your waist. Inhale, look up, lengthen. Exhale, hands to the hips. Inhale, come all the way to stand. This time we're going to turn our left toes out. Warrior two. So good guys. Left heel lining up with the right arch. Pulling those low ribs in. Exhale, reverse warrior. Right hand, right leg. And try to lift and lengthen on the left side. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, reverse. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, reverse. Last time, warrior two. Exhale, reverse. We'll keep all the length in that left side. We'll inhale, come on up slowly. Left leg straightens. Left hand comes down, right arm reaching. Treat the nasana. Hips are stacked, shoulders are stacked. Option was that the right arm came over the ear, right rib cage stays lifted. Maybe left arm parallel. I always come out of the pose a little bit if I do an unsupported variation. Come on back. Warrior two. Exhale, side angle prep. Forearm to the thigh, right arm stretch. Nice right side body stretch. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, side body prep. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, side angle prep as opposed to side body prep, which I just said that maybe left hand comes down. Wherever you are, think about rolling open your right rib cage, lifting the right hip. Right pinky finger down, shoulders away from the ears. Then we'll go ahead and bring the hands down, and we'll step back into a plank pose. You can always come into puppy pose and bring the knees down here. You're going to roll to the outer edge of your right foot and just let your right hip hover so you lengthen out that right side body. Inhale to the center, do the same thing the other side. Roll to the outer edge of the left foot. Lengthen out that left side body. Inhale, come through to the center. We're going to let our forearms come down, which I really hate this pose. I pretty much say that every class doesn't become my favorite. But tuck your hip bones towards your low ribs. Exhale, bend the knees and let them hover. Inhale, straight. You can come to your belly at any time. That's where we'll meet up. Roll to the upper edge of the right foot. Right hip hovers, maybe left leg lift. I'm strengthening those gluteuses. Inhale to the center. Exhale, bend the, up, bend the knees again. Inhale, straight. Roll to the upper edge of the left foot. And maybe lift the right leg. You'll usually notice one side is a little easier than the other. And then go ahead and come back through the center. We're going to let the knees come down. So think knees under the hips. And extend those arms forward, palms facing up. Low ribs pull in to protect the low back. So you can either bring your hands in a prayer position here. Open up the triceps more. Or bring your arms out to the side. Still have to get in standing in warrior one. And if the arms are to use, let the elbows come down. Maybe bring the chin a little more forward.
We're gonna do that shoulder opener. So you're gonna take your right arm, bring it out to the right, bring it here to the ground. Slowly roll onto your right hip. If you want your left hand, you can grab onto your left ankle, but not necessarily. You're trying to open up the inside of the right shoulder. Inhale, come through the center. Make your way to the other side, left arm to the left, rolling onto that left hip. Maybe your right hand grabs your right foot. Doesn't have to. And then come back to the center. On the subject of the things we like the least but need the most, we're going to come into this. I think we've maybe made it skydiving pose. So legs are wide, flex your feet, heels together. Press those heels together like crazy so you can lift your thighs up off the ground. And then maybe arms by your sides, elbows towards the rib cage. So think about strengthening the whole back body and finding your breath. Holding. Shoulders towards the waist. My teacher told me that his teacher used to put him in a heart pose and then go to the bathroom. And then he'd come back a few minutes later. We're not doing that. Lower down slowly, chin rest, hand over hand, squeeze those legs side to side. If you really felt like those, that, back, those back body muscles were weak, you'll do that same pose again. Otherwise, right hand, right ankle, left hand, left ankle. Big toes touch. Lift the chest and maybe lift the thighs. Same idea. Maybe feeling grateful. I'm not going to use the restroom now. I have you holding here. And lower down slowly, chin to rest hand over hand. So we those legs side to side. From here, we'll press back into our puppy pose. So think hands under the shoulders, knees underneath the hips, lift up, and stretch those arms forward. We're going to bend this left leg and bring our right ankle over our left knee. Now you can pull the left heel close to you if you need more intensity and further away from you if you need less intensity. Think about flexing your right foot and bringing your chest towards your right shin. Close your eyes and send the breath to any tightness you find in your body. Gently releasing, open up your eyes, extend your right leg forward this time, bring your left foot high on your right thigh, the right hand comes to the left hip, the left arm reaches up and over to the right foot. So your right hand presses 
Inhale, come on up gently. Now we're going to bend into the right leg so it supports the left foot or left ankle, left foot flexed, chest lifted, and chest towards that left shin. Close your eyes, empty the breath. And then gently releasing. We're going to let our feet come about hips width apart. Hands behind us so our fingers are actually pointing towards our glutes. Puff the chest up. And then if you can, go ahead, lift your hips up. If it bothers your back or anything, back it off. If you want to straighten out your legs and squeeze them together, you get a little bit more of a pose. That's the traditional for Vodrasana. Lower down slowly. Soles of the feet together. First, we'll lift the chest, walk the hands forward. It can be a little or a lot. You can also fold over those legs if it doesn't bother your low back. Try to keep your eyes closed as you come on up gently. Lowering down onto your back, you can bend the legs so the feet are on the floor, knees are to the sky, arms up by your side, drop both knees over to the right. If you want a little more, bring your right ankle over your left knee. Lay that left leg down. Inhale to the center. Switch sides. Over to your left. Knees to the left and maybe left ankle on top of right. And then inhale, come to the center. A we'll couple options here. Get a tricky back. You may want to keep your legs bent here and let the knees stay in and feet out wide. Arms by your sides, palms facing up. Staying here with your eyes closed. Letting go. A more traditional variation of Shavasana is legs come out. Feet flop open to the sides. Arms by your sides, palms facing 